What is up guys, Specstar here today with my one and only battle for the Suicidal Squad team and OLT. My one game is this game against JJ and then my fellow old men and retirees will play one game each for the rest of the season. If you do not know what the hell I'm talking about with the Suicidal Squad, you are to watch a video you know, that should be linked in the description. Either that or I forgot it on my man St. Hilly's channel where he explained it and did our draft recap. So my one battle here is against an opponent who I specially requested here in JJ Gals. And, uh, you know, this little motherfucker has had incredible luck and he has finangled his way to having the most success against me in my draft league history and I thought before I say goodbye completely until maybe next gen maybe never or I had to hand him a little bit of an ass whooping first so I have got a team here uh, let's see if I can I'm just gonna briefly show it I'm not gonna do like a whole thing Oh, get my head out of the way. No, that's not my head I'm trying to drag here. There's my head. There we go. Some nice live editing there. And we have got my Mega Metacham here. And this is, of course, what I like to call... Well, not exactly. It's almost a Spec Star special. The Spec Star special for, special for Mega Metacham is dual priority drain punch and then filler move that's the spec star special with no speed little to no speed and adamant this one little to no speed adamant bullet punch drain punch over high jump kick but i've got zen headbutt and thunder punch no fake out on it bullet punch of course largely for the diancy since I did have the priority, I didn't need speed for too much, and with Drain Punch, uh, the bulk was pretty nice. Next up, I got Tapu Jacko, the Coco, running a Ferium Z, which helps break through any damn thing, really, that comes in on Coco. It's pretty damn Coco weak, actually. Uh, his best answer is being Decidueye, which isn't even a Pokemon, and his only other electric answer being Crocodile, which does not take Dazzling Gleams. Next up here, I've got a bulky superior with uh, synthesis, leaf storm substitute, and leech seed. This can come in on a defensive celesteel and effectively neutralize it, stopping it from getting its seeds back up uh, and allowing me to get my seeds back up. This thing can torment him a little bit. Uh, I went with not much coverage because basically everything except for Volcarona could effectively be whittled down by this set since I am speedier than Eladios with sub and seeding. Uh, and Volcarona, that thing isn't going to be repeatedly coming in ever. It's probably going to come in one setup and then I'll try to get off a big hit on it with my my good old Toxapex. And speaking of Toxapex, I got specially defensive and Piapa Berry because of course the Volcarona versus the Toxapex is going to be the Psyche MZ almost exclusively. Liquidation will allow me to do some damage back to that thing and then uh, basically uh, he can he had a poison type I don't think it came yeah it didn't even come <laughs> he did have a, uh, one poison type to absorb toxic spikes, but that was pretty much all he had to really sponge toxic, so this spent pretty much just spreading that. And I've got a specially defensive Gligar, which is just annoying for his team to break. Rocks, which he is of course pressured to defog away since he has the Volcarona. And then a U-turn because this thing needed uh, a decent bit of coverage, but it also couldn't run that since I needed, of course, Roost and Rocks, and like I said, Toxic Spreading is great versus him. And lastly here, I got the Digger's B, which is just pretty damn much set to break him. Uh, I got the Quick Attack on this thing as my only normal stat because I know that Liquidation from Toxapex into a Life Orb Adamant Quick Attack will be able to take out the Volcarona. 
making sure that thing's not a threat to sweep me. Alright, back to the replay, back to the fun stuff. So starting off here, I just wanted to lead off with my Mega Metacham because it could potentially be consequential if he did get the lead matchup wrong. And uh, it, basically the only situation where I didn't love to lead off a of Metacham is if he led Latias or if he led uh, Decidui, and I didn't see either of those as particularly likely. So I'm going to lead off with Metacham. He is going to lead off with Deancey, so I'm just going to make the safe play and click Bullet Punch. Uh, if he doesn't Mega Evolve and decides to stay in and click Moonblast, Bullet Punch is a roll to KO him, and Moonblast from him is a roll to KO me. So, you know what, I like those odds if he does go for that play. Plus, Deancey is more annoying to me with this particular matchup than Metacham is to him. He didn't bring a lot of what Metacham was good against. So I'm just going to bullet punch here, and he's just going to Mega Evolve, and the thing's going to die, so that's a pretty damn good turn one. He's going to go into Latias, and <laughs> I'm realizing, like, uh, the old man in me who is retired didn't prep too much for this thing. Um, didn't come in for free on anything, but I didn't switch in too comfortably on it. So I brought in my specially defensive Gligar, I know that if he's offensive, I, he won't go for the Ice Beam immediately, and I could pull a double if he did show to be offensive, predicting, or at least scouting for that. And he actually did show to be defensive, so in this situation, I know he's not going to be Ice Beam because that's not his most prioritized coverage to have in this matchup. So I am just free to get my Rocks up. He goes on Crocodile, and I'm fine to just kind of see what that thing wants to do in you turn out. This will bring in my Mega Metacham, and I'm actually just going to Zen Headbutt, thinking that he might want to go into the Decidueye here on a potential high jump kick. Instead, he stays in and knocks, and that's fine. I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch, as he does go into Decidueye this time. Looking at this matchup, I don't see a lot of value in Metacham, so I'm just going to go for a Zen Headbutt, trying to trade. I'm completely comfortable to make that trade if I have to. He goes on Crocodile... Latias will come in on Gligar, that'll give me a Roost. He brings in the Volcarona on the Gligar, and I'm happy to throw off my Toxic here. Now I'm going to switch into my Toxapex, knowing I can take one from this of anything he would throw off. He does go for the Z-move, but I am specially defensive by Hoppa, so I'm good to liquidation this. Pex, after Volcarona's gone, doesn't have much of a roll left, so I'm ready to let the thing go down. He's going to go Crocodile, and I'm going to go with my... Uh, Ugh. I'm going a little bit behind here. I might be going too fast with this. Uh, I'm going to have the Diggers be on the Crocodile. I'm going to switch into Gligar, which covers an Earthquake, or it covers the Superpower. You know what? I need to get my power ready. My mental faculties, because I'm getting a little bit behind. Just need a drink. Alright, so uh, he brings in the Steel here, as I'm just going to pull the double into my Superior as he's I believe Adam and Scarf on the Crocodile, so this will easily take up an Aqua Tail. Uh, as he has Steel in, I'm going to sub up, which could really. I'm thinking more about him potentially switching out here, but it also could cover, I guess, him potentially going for Toxic. If he does just attack me, I don't really care, because unless he's some kind of more offensive set with Air Slash. I know I can pretty much take anything from this. He's actually going to Totemize, but that doesn't scare me too much. I'm just going to go for my Leech Seed here. He goes for the Fire Blast here, and I get my Seeds up. I'm just going to go for another Substitute here, just kind of feeling him out. Fire Blast is not doing nearly enough, so I know that I eventually win this. I just get a Synthesis and get my health all the way back up. He shows the acrobatics here, which means, uh, I guess possibly he could be a berry, but he'd probably be sub if he had that, and it doesn't, most likely at this point it isn't, because it would need to have a move take Coco, so that's unlikely, more likely it's a weakness policy variant, I would think, uh, so that's interesting to make a note of. I'm just going to resub up. He realizes he has to switch out. He goes into Latias. I'm quicker than that. I get to seed that thing up. 
He goes for Psychic, and then I'm just going to go for a few subs as he gets seated. I get absolutely everything back. This thing is a major pest to him. He doesn't... Ha after Volcarona went down, he did not have anything for this left. So I'm going to go for my Leaf Storm here, actually trying to get my boost. But I'm going to realize that in preparing this team, I am truly already an old man of Giraffe League. I am washed up. And I had brought the Mono Leaf Storm Overgrow Superior, and my special attack has went down. Now, if I was contrary, like I was supposed to be, this thing sweeps right here. Uh, but that will not be the case. I'm going to be Overgrow, which means I'm going to have to switch out here because Decidueye is going to beat me. I'll have to go to my Metacham here. I know he, I know he has to Roost and I want to pressure him. He goes in a Latias. I go for Zen Headbutt. Here I'm going to go for Drain Punch because if he wants to, if he wants to Roost off, I'm going to be able to get my health back. And if he wants to go for Psychic, I should be able to live that since I've got a lot of HP investment. And then Drain Punch and a Bullet Punch will be able to take this thing out. But alas, I will get critted, which is pretty annoying here. But I guess I deserved it for bringing the Overcrow Superior. I bring in my Coco to go for Dazzling Gleam. He goes into Situi. I get that thing in range of Z-Move, but I, he makes a good play, presumably scouting for and going into the Latias. Uh, he is now going to be able to roost up on this with the Sidjoy, so I'm going to be forced to U-turn. I'm going to go into Digger's B, which I know can put a lot of pressure on this thing. I need to get this thing weakened to look for a sweep with Coco, and I will go for my knockoff. The Sidjoy will just barely live, but Digger's B will be able to take it out and go down itself the next turn with a Thunder Punch. I'm going to go Coco. He goes into Crocodile, so I just go into Gligar here. He does lock himself in a knockoff. I'm just ready to let the Gligar go down here. I guess if uh, I guess if I went Coco, there's potentially the 50-50 with uh, clicking Thunderbolt versus clicking Dazzling Gleam there, knowing he's... I don't know if it's confirmed yet, but I'm at this point 100% sure he's scarfed. Uh, but I'm going to go into Superior here, which I know can take one. I'm going to go for Leaf Storm. If he does go into Celesteela, I can seed up on that anyway, so there's no harm. He's going to knock off my lefties, do quite a bit, but the thing will go down to a Leaf Storm here. And then he brings in the Steela, which I'm just going to synthesize on, and get myself healthy so I can get the thing seeded. Uh, he's going to go and um, get Autotomize. I'm going to synthesis. He'll miss the Fire Blast, which will... Saves both a little bit of time, I guess, and I'll be able to seat the thing up. Uh, he goes for Fire Blast here. I'm going to Synthesis, and slowly but surely, the Overgrowth Superior will be able to <laughs> win me this game here. Um, it was a strong performance in this game. Funnily enough, by the Overgrow Mono Attacking Leaf Storm Superior, which did a pretty good damn are a pretty damn good job handling a few things in his team, most particularly the Celesteela. Could have potentially had the sweep if I had the right ability, but you know what? Overgrow did work, so you gotta say, uh, you can't question it. Mm -hmm. So that will be my one and only game for the Suicidal Squad. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you guys catch some of the other games, um, I think the plans to get them uploaded. You know, I might even up upload a few of my other compatriots games myself. Uh, I should be some on my man St. Hilly's channel. Uh, you know, there's definitely going to be some on his channel. And if you don't see, if you don't see any Suicidal Squad games, like, and you don't, if you go to his channel, right now it's the sixth. If you go on his channel on the 13th, and he hasn't uploaded Greg's battle, because before I did this game, Greg played his battle, and I'm not going to spoil it. If you don't see it within seven days on Saint's channel, just start disliking videos, but he'll have it up, so don't worry about that. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night.